there we go. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? You guys can hear me, right? Hello. Hello, hello, test, 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 one, two, three. You know, the guy that was, uh, you know, the, the guy with 10, 10 years of experience, right? He really thought that, I don't know if people saw it, like, but he really thought it was going to be a joke of a game, but he was really impressed though. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? Is this shit? And that's the thing, like, uh, it's, 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 please no swears. Okay, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Which words are swears? Can I say fuck? Is fuck shit? Motherfucker? What is a swear mom, a swear word? Fuck is okay? I'm just making sure, and because his name is okay, I want to make sure that I only say, Okay, words. No major nor minor effing. FF. Fuck. Oh, I just said it. Damn. Can I say damn? <laughs> She's not directly essing. Essing. I don't know what essing is. Either way. Yeah, he was really impressed. He was really impressed. He was like, man, fucking hell. I'm saying, sorry, I'm swearing. Okay, it's, it's part of my flow. But maybe, okay, let me tell you something. Wait a few years, and then we won't be able to do it on Twitch anymore. You know, fuck will trigger people that never fuck, like virgins, you know, like, I'm not allowed to say virgins either. Sorry about that. Or sims, wow, well, fuck, fuck, I can't say, no, I can't say fuck either. Because, you know, like a virgin would get triggered when I say fuck because they never fucked. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have, you know, the after party. I can't say these things. I can't say these secrets. On, on the stream, I can't say the word virgin or whatever the fuck. Either way. Um, the guy was impressed by the game. So you know what that means? Yeah, get yourself that sweet ass purpose, motherfuckers. If you guys want to know, like, yeah, man, this game is big. I know it's going to get big. I want to cash in. Get yourself sweet ass purpose. You might wonder, like, what the fuck is purpose? Purpose is the coin that's going to be used where people get 30% more in the game when they get purpose. Purpose keeps going up and up and up. Check the roadmap. Check the videos. Get fucking milk, you gullible suckers. You might say like, whoa, 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 wait, wait the fuck? What the fuck are you saying? Whoa, 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 what? Gullible suckers, what? Get milked? I'm the kind of milker that gives the milk back more so I can milk you more. You might say, what the fuck? It's the circle of milking. It doesn't make any sense. doesn't matter. Ask the people. Everybody here got nicely scanned by a thing on a level where they made six times their money so far. It's the circle of milling, milking. So... You got you. He was literally taking notes, the guy, when he was watching the stream. He was first like, I have 10 years of experience, man. I know what I'm talking about. And then he was very quickly like, okie dokie, this fucker knows what he's doing. And then he was saying, really obvious thing like the game can be more than 150 megabytes it's like you what mate <laughs> you come to me to say the game can be more than 150 megabytes we download the content fucking you know like the, the content in our game is is dynamically loaded and he was like what the fuck dynamically load? you know how little games have dynamic loading we have that there is no server downs nothing offline play he was just like okay 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 this this guy knows what the fuck he's doing yeah, yeah. He will get promotion, I think. He will probably get promotion. Because he goes there, he's going to say, like, we got to take a look at this game. When it comes out, we got to keep a look at this game. They will just start copying shit from me. Well. But yeah. Patent it. Patent what? You can't patent shit, man. It's the gaming world. It's very, very hard. We copy, like, fucking 90% from other people. What are we going to patent? 
Hey, Atim, what do you think of the Venus Project? Man, the Venus Project is a fucking shit joke. Or any similar projects like effective altruism. Shit! You might say, like, why? It's unrealistic. It doesn't fucking work. I already made a, the nice story about effective altruism. There was a group of people, right, that were doing effective altruism. Two people came over here, right? And I asked, what did you guys do? They said, like, yeah, the people were smoking weed, partying, and just, you know, sitting around there, working on some AI shit randomly. No structure, nothing, because AI is the future, whatever the fuck. Smoking, whatever the fuck, no consistency, nothing, right? And uh, the guy came over here, one of two guys. One guy left, the other guy stayed. And uh, the owner of this effective altruism building contacts us, says, can you sponsor us? Because we don't have money anymore. People have to start paying. It's like you fucking have effective altruist. You call yourself effective altruist and you can't even fix your own money problem. It's just so fucking... Well, Jedi Aaron, he is there. He knows what I'm talking about. Because he's the other guy that left. He was there. So, Mr. Jedi Aaron, you experienced it firsthand. You know... Let me, let me ask you, who is more effective? The people where you worked at Effective Altruism or this place? The, compare it. Give me, give, me, give me numbers. You know, if you say we, like how much more effective are we? <laughs> how much more effective are we than fucking Effective Altruism? <laughs> it's just like, these guys just don't give a shit, man. Why did he leave? I'll tell you why he leave. The, the reason why Jedi Aaron left is because he stacked. There you go. I wanted to say. I wanted to say it before he typed it. Because he stacked. And he's just riding the waves. He saw here everything what is going on. He's going back home. He never has to work his life anymore. He's fucking stacked with purpose. It's like, why, why do I have to work my ass off? It's like, it's one way to go about life. But hey, it is what it is. Huh? I'm not blaming him. But he's stacked. That's why he left. There's some probably some minor things you can apply, like city designs or whatever, but it is highly unrealistic in other areas and like methods and systems, as you said it. City designs? Ah, Venice project. But the thing is, though, it's, it's too unrealistic. It's like, let me tell you something, Rolikon. When I was a kid, right, I was 16 years old. Well, actually 15. I went to activist, local activist groups, right? And I was amazed by the amount of literature that explains proper governance. Really, when I was reading it, right, I was like, but why aren't they doing this? And they said, because politicians are corrupt while they were smoking fucking weed. And I was like, why are you guys smoking? You know, it's unhealthy. They got fucking triggered. I was like, fuck this shit. I went into politics. I saw the dirt. I saw the corruption. I was like, fuck this shit. I started my own political movement, a neutral one, just to protest, to get, you know, right wing gone. Then I got into Big Brother. Then I got, you know, like, like, because I wanted to inspire people. Then I started, you know, fucking playing World of Warcraft to gain an own viewer base. And then I started this place. So, yeah, it's, it's not easy, you know. It's not easy to, to, to go through a road to have an effective impact, to try and get everything pure. You've got to compromise so much during the way, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to compromise. If I would have compromised, I would have started companies. That's what I would have done. I would have started making money and just hire people. Fuck that shit. I didn't compromise. And look where I am now. Cult leader Athene. Giving people the opportunity of a lifetime. Turning people into millionaires. Random fucking strangers of viewers. You guys are actually all, you know, the chosen ones. The chosen ones. You might wonder, but man, you are fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding a little bit. But in a sense, you guys are the lucky ones more than the chosen ones. No, there's millionaires here. There's, 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 there's millionaires here. SSS drawer, you're not the actual, you, you're not the original SSS drawer, right? The one that coded? No, you're not, right? You are? No fucking way. Are you the guy that coded and then took it all offline because you didn't want to give the source code? Is that you? No, you're not.
I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it because it was SSS drawer. Wasn't it three S's? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. almost baited, but didn't get baited. No, I don't think it's him because I've seen him already before. Ask Tanya. What do I have to ask? Tanya. But you know the story as well, because I did explain the story, though. That's why you use it as drawer. I'm getting too smart, Dean. Yes, I know, I know. What language do you speak? Where are you from? Probably already mentioned that too, but yeah. Let's see that. Where are you from? What country are you from? Ah, there you go. He doesn't know. <laughs> Got him very quick, very good. Uh, either way. But get yourself some sweet ass fucking purpose, by the way. Get yourself some sweet ass purpose. I'm convinced and also apply. Who is actually going to apply after my entire speech today? There was normally a guy coming over today, but he couldn't because he needed fucking, you know, a test. COVID test. They send him back home. He's coming back tomorrow. 20 from Croatia. I feel is that you? No, you're from the US. What positions? Anyone can apply. There is no positions. It's not jobs. It's volunteer work. Where do I invest in purpose? It's not really invest, but yeah. I had a Facebook message, but that's another guy. There's actually a guy coming over tomorrow. Noxy for charity. I'm 24 from Norway. I've considered it for years. Damn shit, son. You should really do it. What do you have to lose? Will big news update still come tomorrow? What big news update? Ah, I actually already gave it two days ago. Yeah, people are running out. People are running out. I said it already yesterday, the update. People are running out. I actually had to start. We have to start testing the game already earlier. We're already into the phase. We're already into the phase of testing, making cards. How many cards left on the, on the, on the, on the board? Uh, the distribution board, zero. Zero cards on the distribution board. That's like, what? Zero. So when people run out, they have jack shit to do. And Ricardo is running around trying to give people work like a madman. Okay, talk about Venus now. Venus project is good on paper, but doesn't work in reality. Let me tell you something, Mr. OK. And this is something I've really learned the hard way when I was a kid. I'm saying always when I was a kid, but it's important to set that because I went through that part in my life as well. I was 15, though, when it happened. Well, 16, more like 16. In the past, when I saw something that made sense on paper but didn't work out in reality, I thought that reality was just, you know, not worth it, was stupid. I just dismissed it. I deflected it. I was like, on paper, it works. So if it doesn't work on reality... Tough luck, fuck reality. That was when I was younger. But then when I grew up, I realized that that was me lying to myself because it's easier to hold on to a paper and to theory on paper when it sounds good and it makes sense because it gives you a sense of safety. And I was actually just bullshitting myself. And the real truth is not what sounds, you know, logical on paper, but it's what works in reality. And then things become a lot more practical, but also a lot more complex. 
So the Venus project sounds really nice on paper with like, you know, sustainable energy and all that shit, but it doesn't take into account crucial elements of human greed, human stupidity and all that shit, which is what dominates reality. So if you want to, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to have an impact in the world, right? Rather than looking at certain projects like Venus Project or whatever, you got to organize yourself. You got to, you know, put effort, put the time and effort and the, the resources yourself to do good in the world. That's why I started this place. But yeah. Yeah, we're going to release soon. Beta coming early? No, the beta will not come early. I think the beta will be next week. Almost very, very likely next week, actually. I think it's almost certainly to be next week. And we're already at the end of this week, so next week is not that long, far away. No, Bluestacks is really schlick. But yeah, what are you going to do with the money with the app release, future plans? I already explained it. What we will do is we will set educational programs that allow people in third world countries to basically go through an a application process, which we already have been working on to get selected to be flown, flied over for three to six months projects. We fund everything. Government would love it because they love these kind of projects. And also their people would love to go to Europe. And uh, based on their, uh, their, their, their ambition, we will, uh, we will see if pe certain people um, have the capacity and skills to expand where they live. And we will just create talent as we go and grow that way. Because we can't just go and help people in third world countries. It doesn't fucking work like that. Uh, because you need people on the ground that know how to do things, how things work, the ins and outs. You need smart people. Same with charities. Their biggest talent comes from people on the ground. We need to attract these, give them the opportunity, the tools, and expand from within, slowly growing by, you know, and then them giving them the ability to do so. That's the idea. Make us ding. We're actually about to ding, I think. We will work with certificate authorities, actually. We will. Obviously. 4K more supply. Let me see. So a lot of people bought then or what? Because I don't think that was the case. Oh, no. It's, yeah, it's still... 11.8k, 11, 11 so anybody that, you know, that, that wants to pay 0.6% more, you got to wait until the next ding. Eh? Every time you wait, 0.6% more, 0.6% more. Don't be suckers, guys. Just get yourself sweet-ass purpose. Game is going to come out soon. Don't cry. Eh? Don't fucking cry. What is the difference between purpose and crypto? Other crypto. Purpose is real. Other crypto is just fucking uh, pyramid scheme. Uh, pure uh, value is defined by, uh, by, by just how many people believe in it. Uh, it's not backed by jack shit. While purpose is a coin that is going to work in our game. The game is already out there in our future projects. It's actually functional. It's a utility. It's not just something, you know, like you go and you... It's not just a, a pump and dump shit fiesta. <laughs> yeah, she's typing in notepad. <laughs> no! No! How can he compare himself to Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin, man? It pumps and dumps like crazy. There's entire fucking, you know, like, like even threads of people manipulating that shit to the max. It's a volatile dumpster. 
It's really like that. Purpose is actually like it has functionality. If the game makes billions, you know, like fucking purpose will go through the roof. The, the, the volume will be tens and tens, hundreds of billions. It's going to go to trillions. <laughs> What do you mean it's not backed by anything? It has no, like, when, 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 you, when, you, when you look at the dollar, right? The dollar, you can go to the store and buy shit with it. Like Bitcoin, the only value that it has, right, is what, what it has, what, what people basically paid for on exchanges, nothing more. Well, well like, like, so basically, if people tomorrow say like, oh, yeah, Bitcoin is trash, it just dumps. If people start selling, it dumps. So it's the perception of people that really puts it together. While with purpose, you, you go to the game and you can buy shit in the game for purpose. 2K purpose left. Someone just bought. What? No, that's not true, right? Holy shit, someone actually did. 6K left. Who is going to be the sucker? That's going to buy afterwards. Who's going to be the sucker that's going to get it afterwards? That's my question. Because every fucking second you guys wait, you're going to have to pay 0.6% more. 1.2% more than last ding. 1.8% more than the ding before that. Don't be a sucker. Don't be a sucker and get yourself as much fucking purpose as possible. Live the good life. You guys saw this guy? You guys saw this guy? Um, what is the question? Um, the, the, the guy that had 10 years of experience in the mobile scene, did you see how he became humble when he was seeing the game? He was fucking blown away. He really first thought I was just completely delusional and then see what happened. I actually really want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. Actually, I'm going to record it. Can I not just put it? Can I not just record Wheelcraft and show you guys? Maybe I can. It's three three man project. Uh, password, whatever. We go, man. I'm recording my screen. This really like I'm just quickly showing some shit. I don't even know how this fucking works, but yeah. It's very buggy. Yeah. I actually know what buttons to press. I think I already crashed it. Oh no, it's actually working. Yeah. Speed too. Man, I'm showing you guys. I'm showing you guys. I don't want to diss them. It's it's. I'm just showing like, what the fuck is that? Man. Oh yeah, I think I can show you guys enough now. Oh yeah. Here we go. Can I post this on Discord? Let me see if I can do this. Can I upload it? Let's go. You guys can have a little look. Does that even work? General? videos but it's not gonna allow me right done does it allow me your file is too powerful upgrade to discord nitro 400 megabyte file limit Can I do it? It's 10 bucks. 
I'm gonna pay, pay, pay 10, 10 bucks here. Teach. I'm paying 10 bucks for Nitro here so I can give you guys share the, the, the thing. There we go, I paid it. I'm gonna cancel my subscription as soon as it goes through. Your account is temporarily unavailable. Try again later. Apple error, an unknown error has occurred. Okay. That didn't work. Fucking shit. Uh, upload video. Free. Video uploader. Can I just upload? Upload, choose. And uh, no, it says, is there any link? Is there any video site where I can upload without having to create a, without having to create, ah, uh, can I do it on Imgur videos? A one minute videos? Okay. Upload? No. Where do I do this? Uh, add. Yeah, let's see. Later. Next. Upload. It's uploading? I think it is uploading, or isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is uploading. I got it, guys. I got it. I'm using Imgur. It's uploading. Although I don't understand why it's taking so long. I think it's uploading, right? It must be. Because I did add. Uh, is it actually adding now? Your post finished uploading, view post. This video is still processing. Uh, share? Copy? Yeah, boys. Yeah, man, I did it. I'm really becoming more and more, you know, paced. Damn, there we go, guys. Look at that, a GIF. Look at that, I did it, I did it. I'm a boomer, a zoomer, unwashed. Do you guys see the video? You guys can actually see the video, man. Check it out. Just try some random shit. Team, look at private message. You've been gifted a subscription. Thanks, man. You've been, once you accept, you will have Nitro for one month. Can I accept it? Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Damn, son. That's nice of you, man. I milked you good. <laughs> I'm just saying it didn't work, but I was just milking you. It fucking worked like, like, like a charm. Do you guys see, by the way, the, the video? Can I just now... I can basically upload it now, right? I should be able to upload it now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see if that works. Is it? Send? Max file is 100 megabytes, please. So it's more than 100 megabytes? Well, you guys can see. Did you guys see? Are you guys looking at, at Willcraft? Are you guys seeing it? Yeah. Three years, five people worked on that. 
not I don't want to diss them, right? Why are you showing Warcraft shit? Well, when people come to my game and say, hey, your game is trash and they, they compare it to any other shit, it's not easy to make a game like that. I, I, I posted it. I posted the link. You got you to gotta mouse over it. Copy link here, here, here it is. There is the link. You got the mouse over it and it plays. I really got will crafted, but in a sense, maybe that's the entire point of the game. It's to get will crafted. But man, that's so crazy. I'm so surprised when I saw it, it was even worse than I thought it was going to be. And the, like the, the thing is also, I have a really advanced phone. Look how slow it loads. So crazy. Yeah. There's also some combat. You think milking people to give to be poor people is, is moral? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think back in the days when purpose were on YouTube, I didn't get fully understanding it. I would like you to explain it deeply again because people here, including me, can't be sure if they're going to get milked or not. I would like purpose if I can be sure it's a good investment. First of all, it's not an investment. You might say, like, what do you mean? You trust that what I'm doing is, you know, you, you, have, you, you, you believe and trust that what I'm doing is going to go places. You get purpose. You don't, you don't get it. So like investment, I'm not saying it's an investment. It's more like a token of trust. How does purpose work? I'm going to explain you how purpose works in a very simple way. Imagine, you know, you get, you know, you have $100. And if you put $100 in on the bank, right, for one year, you get four euros. I'm just getting it very simple, right? Now, these four euros, you can go. And with these four, maybe I shouldn't even call them euros and dollars because it's a bit, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit, um, it's, it's a little bit confusing. But like, let's say you go with these four euros to Reese. If you go with the four euros to Reese, he will give you for this. I shouldn't say euros and dollars. Let's let's use uh, what should I use? I can't use bananas and apples because that was too complicated, right? Uh, gold and silver. Gold and silver. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gold and silver. Let's go. Let's go. So you get a hundred grams of silver, right? If you keep, if you put your hundred grams of silver on the bank, right? I will give you, you will get four grams of silver. If you put hundred grams of gold on the bank for one year and you can't touch it, you will get four grams of silver. Now, if you go to Reese, Reese is the one that sells, well, sells, that puts basically gold for 100 grams, $100. But when you go to Reese, he only gets your silver for your four grams of silver for $4. He doesn't buy your gold. So now, since the only way that you can convert your, your, your gold into, into actual dollars again is by putting it on the bank for a year, by getting it to silver, well, like that, that, that Reese says, like, this is the, the, the buy wall, to put it that way. That's what he buys it for. He has $96 left because you bought, you know, 100 grams of gold for $100. You got four, four you locked it for a year. You get four, four grams of silver for $4. You go back to Reese. Now, since Reese has 100 bucks because you bought 100 grams of gold for 100 bucks, he only needs to back up 4% a year. Right, so now he has ninety six dollars to increase the price of gold and silver. So now what he does is he puts more gold. If the gold is depleted of what he puts for sale, he puts more gold at a higher price. Now let's say you come and say like, but I want to sell my gold. You have to undercut Reese. So like if 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 you buy now for a hundred dollars, hundred gram of gold, and you want to sell it, you're gonna have to sell it for ninety nine. 
You have to undercut because everybody is buying from REITs. If nobody can buy from you gold anymore, then they start buying from REITs. But the silver, you, if you want to get silver, it's the other way around. The world is upside down there. There, if you want to sell silver, you have to sell either for the minimum of what REITs buys it for or for more. So now, since you have the system, like every time all the gold is sold, the gold price levels up and the silver price levels up. And that's why you have the leveling system. Every fucking ding, it keeps going up by 0.6%. And when you do the math, right, Rees can keep buying your silver for 100 years. You can look at the roadmap. You get me? Did I explain it well? It's quite simple, right? It's a trash explanation. Yeah, man. I think back when you... You just copy past that again, what I said. I did explain. I did put some effort in explaining it. You can check the roadmap. So now if you check the roadmap, right, you will see that purpose right now is level what? 70? You really need to work on your elevator pitch. I know, but I'm not trying to pitch it. I'm just saying here in the after party, I won't even explain this shit to people. The value of purpose keeps going up because as the, 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 the value is depleted. So like basically purpose was at half a dollar. Now it's at $3. If you want to undercut us and you sell purpose, right? For like two and a half, it will be instantly swallowed up. Even though you bought it for half, you can say like, yeah, I want to sell it for 2.9. Well, it's going to take a bit longer. So basically, purpose keeps going up. It was at half a dollar. Now it's at $3. So if you go and you get purpose from the uh, supply wall, there is actually an exploit. But that's why I don't want big investors to get into it. If you come and you dump 10 million, right? You make purpose ding 50 times. And now you can undercut the supply wall, literally increasing your value of 10 million instantly to like 11 million. You can instantly increase it by 10%. It's really fucked up. That's why right now it's quite like if we would see anyone do that, we would just, we can just, yeah, not keep adding supply. No, when the game comes out, too many people will be adding. That's also a reason why I talk to you guys and say get purpose because I don't want some fucker some investor or whatever, or a, a big, uh, a big whale taking advantage of it. That's why we gave all the, all the crypto back to, like three million dollars worth of crypto back to a, a baby whale because he 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 really had, the entire. Yeah, he had just everything. Where you can you get it? We have our own exchange, DubiX. Can someone link it? You need Ethereum though. You want it. How did you manage to come up with this crazy math, man? Damn. Headhunter, it's because I'm a genius. I know that it sounds cocky for me to say that, but it's actually the truth. I am really a genius. Why did I, why do I get, I know it sounds cocky. I know that it sounds cocky, but it's really the case though. It's like, well, yeah, like, it's a genius system. I just figured out economic system that, that crushes everything where the user is the bank. Yeah, it will, it will really blow up. Atin actually it's smarter than Einstein. For real, I am smarter than Einstein. Get purpose. <laughs> I know you're smart as fuck, but this is next level. Yeah, it is. It is next level. It is. I, I wonder if you're trolling me or meta trolling me, but it's really the case. It is really next level. Yeah, Purpose Mo is a very nice fan-made website that shows the graph and everything. Can someone post the graph of purpose? That's what happens. Purpose is based on dollars, right? Not on ether. So if it fluctuates, it fluctuates on the website, but not with the dollar. Can someone post the dollar graph? Someone has the picture. So you can see how it evolves. And that shit, you know, there you see. That's the graph. 
You see that? It only goes up. It only goes up. And you might say like, but Athena, Athena, why would people want to get purpose? Well, why do people spend $1.5 billion on IFK Arena? Why do people buy uh, GME? Stonks, stonks. That, that, that one picture of a surgeon's walk, you see, the, you see Mars? No, it's actually the galaxy. What is it? It's a black hole. Is that like the cold freeze? Where does it go, by the way? Does it go to nothing? <laughs> I don't know if that picture is actually saying that everything is going to go away. It's the black hole. It's the black hole when it starts swallowing everything. Ah, yeah, that's what it is. I think it's a black hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a black hole when we start swallowing the entire economy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think what gives it actually value because it prints value with the doobie. So you got to explain what holds it up, mate. Well, all the money that goes to the supply wall can be, can be used to, to, to fund the, the, the buy wall. If you buy a million worth of purpose, then Reese has a million dollars to supply the, 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 the supply wall. That's the math. That's the genius thing. Do you have to sell to be by a certain time? No. But how is it sure that it doesn't break down? Math. Look at the roadmap. Look at the roadmap. Yeah, click that link, and there you can see the roadmap, right? You can see all the levels, right? The amount of money that goes in per batch and the amount that is needed to sustain the value of Doobie. And you see this fund surplus. So you can see as you go down the fund surplus. And this is for, by the way, 10 years. This is, amount, this is the amount to sustain if everyone sells Doobie for 10 years. But just like banks, you only need to back 10% of the value. So that's why it's 100 years. You might say, like, why? Because not everybody sells their doobie. A lot of people hold. So, yeah, there you can see the value and the surplus. And as you scroll down, the surplus keeps going up to the point where it's really like at 2,400. It's literally, what is that? Uh, Two billion? And uh, the amount is 191. I think that is 191 sustainable value. Yeah, you, you can see it there. How is that held up though for th those 10 years? The funds are derived from people getting purpose. You get me? Also, the doobie and purpose spent on the game is getting burned. It doesn't go to us, just so you guys know. It's a big deal. Purpose is always slightly more valuable to back up doobie. Well, yeah, 25x. It's really a nice system. This, this, by the way, is going to blow up. I really think Wall Street bets are going to go crazy on this one. Just so you know, it's going to go bananas. People are going to start eating it up once people start catching up on it. How does tax work? If you're in the Germany, you keep for a year tax-free. I don't know, depending on where you live. Huh? It's, 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 I don't know Belgium. I, I don't know the law in Belgium. Risk controls the system, right? Well, the way it works is it's, it's not as simple as that because I am the one that can hand out purpose. But the thing is, though, I cannot sell purpose because let me tell you something. This is also something to be very aware of. Purpose is a utility token. What does that mean? I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit of legal stuff. There is security tokens on European law and utility token. A utility token does not oblige on monetary regulations in Europe. 
a security does. If you trade securities, you need a monetary license. And a security obliges certain specific rules where, you know, you have to give something, you have to get it back. It's like trading. So when we went to lawyers and we explained do, like purpose, they said, you can't do it because it's seen as a security. You cannot do it. You cannot go and sell it out. You can't sell it. You can't do it. But I'm a thing, you know, you don't fuck, fuck around with a thing. Like a teen is fucking, you know, the smartest man on the planet. So I was like, fuck that shit. Reese was talking to lawyers. I'm telling you, he spent, he spent ten thousands of dollars on lawyers trying to figure out purpose. He came to me because I'm just working on the game. He came to me and he said like a thing. Um, lawyer says, you can't do it. We can't have purpose. I was like, what is the fucking problem? And he just explained that it's a security, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, what if I give it out for free? It's like, what? Yeah, I give it what? People can donate and I give it out for free. I'm not making anything. I give it out. I give it to you. I give it to viewers. I give it to people. And they do with it what they want. Goes back to the lawyer and it goes like, uh, well, yeah, then it's not a security. Then it's a utility. Is the guy making any money out of it? Nope. Then it's a utility. But um, So I'm the one handing out purpose for free. And people do with it what they fucking want. So I give it to Reese because I believe in his projects. I can give it to you guys if I believe in you guys too. I'm the source. I'm the richest man on the planet, but the poorest schmuck too, because I don't, I'm not allowed to sell it. Isn't that fucking crazy? What a genius system. I'm literally stuck in the law. I cannot sell one purpose. The architect, the architect, I'm not allowed to sell it. The moment I sell purpose, it becomes a security and I go to jail. <laughs> That's why I have no money. I have nothing. I just created a fucking shitty token. And if people want to sell it on the fucking exchange, that's not my problem. If Reese want to supply a buy wall and a supply wall, that's his fucking problem. He can do whatever he wants. He can go to fucking, he can go to Binance and start doing the exact same thing with Bitcoin. He can say, anyone that sells for less than 20K, I'll buy it up. Here's a buy wall. He's 100% legally allowed to do that. Actually, this is even what Elon Musk did by saying, I buy your shares for this amount. Made the stock pump because suddenly people have more trust in the fucking, uh, in, in, in the, they have more trust in the, in the stocks. He just has to prove that he can buy it. And he could prove it because he was backed by some checks or whatever it was. Either way, what I'm just saying, man, this system is very, very, very smart and outside the box. And you don't have to be smart. You say, well done, I hope I can think like, you don't even have to think like it, just ride the waves. Don't be an idiot, ride the waves. Don't wait. Don't wait for opportunities to slide by. You guys know how fucking smart I am. You guys fucking know it. You've seen it. I break world records everywhere. I carry. That's what I do. Let me carry you. I've already carried people when they got it for half a dollar to three dollars. Say it in the chat. Who got it? Who is the half dollar club? There's quite some people here that are from the half dollar club. You're paying fucking premium already. But when purpose is a hundred bucks, you're going to look at your three dollars and say like, man, that was fucking cheap. I didn't scam anyone. I promised the game. The game is there. I fucking promised it. And I, and I out, I, and then again, even worst case to worst, right? Worst to worst, worst. Let's say everything goes down the shitter, right? At least, man, you supported something good. I mean, you know, I want to do good in the world. I look like a fucking hobo. At this point, it's not an act anymore. I'm a fucking hobo. You fucking know it. I'm not stealing your money. Maybe Reese is going to go to the Bahamas and we're all big suckers. But until then, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're believing in something good and you're promoting something good. And even if worse comes to worse, we'll both be on the fucking street next to boxes and I'll say hi. Maybe I'll sign your box that you're in sleeping. At least you got that. Hobo Brothers. <laughs> You'll feel less lonely than you feel now. <laughs> yeah, at least it feels a little bit less lonely than now. It'd be actually, actually, but you'd be my hobo brother and be more happy than I'm now. Yeah, well, maybe we'll catch COVID together. 
be in the hospital next to each other coughing. Maybe I can't make, is it too soon? Is it too soon? Maybe it's a bit too soon. Get yourself that sweet ass fucking purpose, man. That's what I got to say. Don't sit back. You're going to fucking cry. You're going to cry. What's the value of doobie? It's the same as the value of purpose. One to one. Your after party is bigger than the Twitch stream. Yeah, I like my after. Do you know my after party makes you rich? The Twitch stream, you know, makes you laugh. The after party makes you rich. Yeah, yeah. Fees are too high, man. Fees are not too high. You just got to go balls deep, man. Fees are high when you want to buy 10 bucks. When you go for 10,000 bucks, then the fees are not so high. And by the way, is one line in the roadmap one year or what? No, it just constantly, like if the, um, if the batch of purpose, right? On the left, you see amount of purpose per batch. When 7,100 purpose is sold, it dings. When 7,128 purpose is sold, it dings. And right now we are at level 71, I think. So if the next 9,351 purpose is sold, it dings again. It keeps dinging and leveling up. And that's how it keeps going up. You get it? Yeah, it's helping them kids. Of course, it's helping them kids. Why are we doing this shit? You are much more engineering during your after party after you did your real talk on Twitch than doing the depressing 3v3s. Yeah, man, 3v3s is really soul sucking. It's soul sucking. But hey, I got to do what I got to do. The thing is, though, once I get higher rating, I start, you know, I start more like when I'm just 1900 or 2.1k, what can I say? Also, their gear sucks. They should get better gear. I hope they're going to, you know, start grinding because it's a, bit, it's, it's a bit of a shame that, you know, it's taking a while because like if they would do a lot of BGs and stuff, their gear would be so much better. We would climb much faster. But hey, I'm not blaming anything. They're just students, you know. But yeah, like it's going to take a while for us to to get to get really high because they need really better gear, like 20 item levels. They literally take 10% more damage and do 10% less damage. That's just ridiculous. Where do you get purpose? On DubiX. There, there you get purpose, easy. How stable is it? It's purpose is a stable coin that keeps going up. The ID is genius. How stable is the next beta build? It's insanely, it's going to be insanely stable. It's going to be almost launch ready. I think we will have two more betas, the next one and the final one. And if the next one really is really good, then that's already the final one. There is a chance. Is there a fee when you sell or just when you buy? Ether fee is, is when you sell or buy, but it fluctuates. At times, it was literally 10 cents. Now it's fucking 15 bucks. It's just ridiculous. No, 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 not late. Mo. The next beta is next week, and it's going to be just a week, I think. We will have people play for a week. We will fix all the shit, and then we will be ready to go again, or maybe a week or two. I mean, the last beta we had, right? that we came out with almost no bugs. Huh? We're trying to launch at the end of February or the start of March. Yeah, can't wait, can't wait. February seems impossible at this point. Come on, Athene. Why? Why is it impossible? You release beta, then fix all the bugs and release two weeks in and all in two weeks. But the thing is though, the next beta will have almost no bugs. People have been fixing bugs for the past months. When we launched the beta in December, right? There was still 3,000, no, what do I say? There was more than 10,000 carts on people boards. They're all gone. 
Do you get what I mean? They're empty. There was more than 10,000 bucks, more than 15,000 cards, I think. They're all done. And our QA internally is much more advanced than the QA from testers. Our last beta was only generating five cards a day. The first beta that we launched early December, or was it end of November, was generating 150 cards a day. The, the last beta, five cards. This beta we're going to launch is going to generate almost nothing. It's going to still generate 10 to 20 cards, I think, which is nothing because we like that's one coder can fix 20, 10 to 20 cards. We're not going to delay the game for that. Only the, the, the major game breaking bugs we will delay, uh, we, will, we will fix. Anything that is not game breaking and major and we can launch, we just fucking launch. There were around 4,000 back then, though. Yes, but I'll, like these 4,000 are constantly, you know, like like bugs are constantly. When when I look, I can I can look at it now. Maybe it's not. Let me look at at it now. Card overview. I have it here. It's thirteen thousand one hundred seventy one fucking cards. Thirteen thousand one hundred seventy one, and there is six hundred sixty nine cards left, and everything is done. Six hundred sixty nine cards left, and everything is done. And then the question is not whether there is bugs, because there will still be bugs. The question is, are the bugs that big to delay the launch that justifies delaying the launch? So yeah, I'm really, really extremely optimistic. It has never been so, so nice. People are really running out. Zero in the distribution. Neotox, if there was zero, zero cards, like basically the way it works is people have their own board and then you have the distribution. Amongst 15 coders, amongst all of them, they all have 600 cards and the distribution, normally when people run out of cards, they get from distribution, they have zero. So now what happens is if people run out, which is still happening all the time, they have to scramble and go to other coders that have more cards and grab from them. But everybody is going to zero. And when I say 600 cards, it's actually more like, I think, 300. Because there is 300 cards that don't even count. Can I buy food and shelter with this coin at Or that's not the purpose. Sorry if I'm spamming. Uh, you can just, you can get it and you can transfer it back into cash. It's up to you. I mean, there's people that got purpose for half a dollar and they spent 20K and literally sold everything for like 80K. 90K, 100K. I mean, yeah, that's just how it is. So yeah, by the end of the month or start of next month, it will be out. Because what, 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 what people don't realize, right? A lot of people don't realize is I don't want to delay the game. I just don't want to get cyberpunked. How will the launch be done successfully without having to look back at it regrettably? In other words, maximizing the success of the launch by not taking any shortcuts. If I would have taken shortcuts, I would have come out in October last year. Actually, I would have come out two years ago. We didn't take shortcuts. The game is fucking polished is finished. We fucking finished that shit. We will, we, we have an ad strategy, yeah, we do. But initially we will launch, I think we will have a slow launch at the start. Because I, I don't think it's smart to launch with a big bang. Because if for whatever reason there is server issues or whatever, it's only going to eat, uh, eat us. So we do a first a slow launch for a week or two. We just have it running. We, we monitor. We make some important patches on the back end as well. And then we start the marketing machine. We will also have a lot of money. Purpose will immediately go, well, you guys will see, it will go crazy, insanely high. That's why I tell you guys, keep getting fucking, like, get yourself fucking purpose or you're going to fucking cry like a baby. But hey. 
get yourself purpose before it's too late. Either way, purpose is going to go really quick. Like, I think it's going to go high very fast. Either way. Uh, so we will have the funds as well. We already have the funds to, to run really big ad campaigns. And if the money keeps coming in, because the game makes all the money, we can make bigger and bigger ad campaigns. But first, we will start with guerrilla ads. We won't just go and, uh, and, and, and go about it stupid and just throw money. We will be very smart about marketing. If you guys remember a thing from the past, we are viral machines. The documentary by itself will already create quite a little bit of a, you know, will get people to, to already talk about it. Purpose will go up close to immediately, I think. You might wonder, like, but why, why, why? Uh, the documentary, not just the documentary. You want to know why? One word. Can someone get it? One word. Greed, fucking greed, not a thing, greed. You might wonder like, uh, what do you mean? The same why fucking GME went up. It's going to go up like crazy. And before you know it, you're going to be too late. I mean, people that just had a year for GME, it was already too late. Get it soon, you fuckers. I want to. I wanted to say a thing, but greed is better. You guys aren't too late. You're too late when you know when it hits two thousand. Then you're too late. But until then, you're not too late. Could potentially something non-legally binding happen to the supply wall? I already said it to you, Stama, and to everybody else. I only make decisions that are good for your wallet and for the coin. So I hope I answer your question with that. The only thing I can tell you is buy or cry. It's actually... It's actually worse than buying or crying because if you cry, you cry out your tears. This, you can't cry it out. Maybe it's buy or fucking die. Maybe it's just that. No, no, no. I'm not going to go that way. Maybe they can take that out of context. But yeah, buy or cry. But the crying won't help though. Just saying. Because it's too, it's like crying. You do that. You're sad. You cry it out. It's over, right? You're okay. You're, no, this is worse. This is worse. Is get yourself purpose or really, you know. <laughs> Man, let me ask you guys a question. People that were doubting when it was half a dollar, right? How do you feel not getting it at half a dollar and still looking at it while it's at three now? How does it feel? Honestly, there is already people right now that feel salty as fuck. Now imagine if purpose is a hundred dollars. It's going to be depressing. It's going to be depressing. That's only 6x, man. That's 6x. 3 to 100. That's 33x. That's fucking 33x from what it is now. Why you have been saying that you are going to milk everyone? But of course, it's like, you know, it's all a fugazi. <laughs> like, but the thing is, like, yeah, you, you're gonna get milked real good when you get purpose. But you might say, like, but why would I then get it? Like, the thing is, though, 
when you go right and you get GME at five bucks and then it becomes 400, right? You're also getting milked. But the thing is, you, you can get more out of it. The question is not whether you get milked. You get milked everywhere. It's about getting milked in a way where you get ahead of it. It's like the entire system is completely washed up. People that got Bitcoin at 0.01 cent also got into a Fugazi. It means nothing. It's just some fucking virtual shit on the internet. But now it's fucking 40K. So it's just like, okay, yeah, you, you are a gullible sucker in a sense. But if you can, you know, see if, if you're a smart gullible sucker, you can see the potential of how much it's going to be like getting people in, gullible suckers in. And by seeing that potential, you can be ahead. It's not about being a gullible sucker or not. It's about being the one that is ahead. And then you turn it around. So being milked is fine. Reese is the one at the top. You're the one below it. You can wait and can be the one below that. You might say that sounds really like a pyramid scheme. It's not really a pyramid scheme because pyramid scheme just, you know, it stands or fails based on how many people get in. In our situation, it's not the case because the game backs it up. The game gives it functionality, gives it utility. Reese is not going to jail. I mean, let me tell you something, Vazi Carney. Imagine I come to you and, ah, that was sarcasm. I wanted to address it. I want to address it. I don't even have to address it. You are working for something greater than yourself, like Bitcoin. It aims to stop dollars, diamonds, whatever currency. Nah, man, do you really believe that? What is Bitcoin? Who is even behind Bitcoin? Seriously, man, the coin is, is, is just a, like, it's just a fictional thing. If, if you would lose money with Bitcoin, you, nobody would get it. That's why nobody's getting into it. That's just some story people tell themselves to make themselves feel better and justify getting themselves on it. It's like the GME. They had fucking a thousand reasons. People just wanted to get rich. Sitting on your ass and getting rich. That's what people want. Bitcoin cannot be stolen from you. That's why it has value. Same with Dogcoin. Dogcoin cannot be stolen from you as well. Any shitcoin cannot be stolen from you as well. You know, even purpose cannot be stolen from you as well. Even purpose one cannot be stolen from you as well because it's decentralized. Everybody still has their purpose one, but it's worth jack shit. Why? Think about it. It's like all in people's head. It's all a fugazi. So it can be hacked extremely unlikely. Purpose one is for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Harvard, Harvard wallet worth it. It depends. Just don't lose your 12 word passphrase. Because there was forks. When we forked and upgraded the coin, the previous coin is still there but we don't use it. And the way it works is we send the purpose to everybody and, and we just fork. That's how we keep the technology up to date. We did a last fork where we also upgraded the technology and with all the fees, we will probably have to do another one. It's not going to be anytime soon, but we will have to do another one. What's the best wallet now? MetaMask. But if you want a hardware wallet, you can get a ledger, yeah. Don't buy it on eBay, huh? Buy it from the website, because some fucking idiots went to eBay to buy a fucking ledger, right? And then, you know, like... It came then with... Do you guys know what happened with that? They didn't get a paper, right, with the ledger, right? And you have to scratch your 12 fourth passphrase. Do you guys know what happened? It's like really like they get really like very secure. You scratch your 12 fourth passphrase, say keep it really secure. Don't tell anyone. You put your 12 word passphrase. Now you put all your funds on it. Suddenly it's gone. Because these fuckers printed the paper. They put the thing on top of it, making it sound like you scratch it. Fucking idiots. 
because they thought they were saving themselves $10 by not buying it from the site. They lost all their money. The hardware wallet is secure when you fucking buy it from the website, not from some scam site. I think should I go homeless to buy some purpose? Just save, save, save cash, man, and get yourself as much as you can. I think Ledger hardware wallet got hacked. But did your wallet get hacked or did your wallet didn't get hacked? The, the email list got hacked. Yeah, the website, yeah. Yeah, the database, yeah. But the database doesn't contain the, your passphrase, just so you know. Yeah, feels bad. A team, if the game flops, what do you think will happen to the value of purpose, theoretically? Oh, it will keep going up. Because we can keep, keep the value for 100 years. Well, 100 years. At least for the next years, you don't have to worry about it at all. Non-legally binding, of course. If we all die because of a hurricane, you're in trouble, huh? How do you guys fund the place? Man, crypto has gone up like crazy. We are Gucci. You don't have to worry about that one. We're really bailing, balling. Balling, is that what you call it? Either way, you just get yourself some. Yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, no, lucky with crypto. Yeah, well, yeah, we're doing really good with crypto. You don't have to worry about us. We're fucking millionaires. This place costs 50K a month, but if you're millionaires, calculate it out. We can run this place for years and years. Easy peasy. Do you keep a lot of ether from the purpose? We can't. You might say, why? Because we need to be able to back it up, you know? In a sense, we need to be able to back it up, so we need to do 50-50. So if one drops and the other goes up, we, we can still sustain it. Why not run virtual sites that cost nothing? Why does it need a place? Why do people come over here? It, virtual doesn't fucking work. It just doesn't work. Come over here and you will see why. Like you cannot have this level of organization virtually. No way. How long is the on, one line on the purpose roadmap? But what do you mean with one line? I already said it. Every time... When the supply is completely swallowed, it dings and it goes to the next. So depending on how many people get purpose, it's been dinging the past few days or like the past weeks, it dinged twice already. It's not time-based. It's based on how many people get into it. That's why if you have a whale that drops 10 million, it will just jump five levels or 10 levels or something. 20 levels, actually, I think. If someone drops a million. Well, Vasily Carney, the reason why it works for you is because you're doing a job, you get paid. Like it doesn't, it's very hard to make it work voluntarily. So you guys, the more, well, no matter the things, yeah, like, well, 10 years, I wouldn't say 10 years. We can fund five years or something if we don't do anything, but it's very easy for me to fund another 20 years if I want to, easy. It becomes easier and easier the more people get purpose. It becomes a lot easier. Although, yeah, it becomes a lot easier. Although we don't need it. Does the supply wall get auto-renewed with the new amount? Yes, but up to a certain amount. So it's not, you cannot just, if you buy it, it will automatically do twice, I think. And then it has to be manually checked because... If someone just dumps 10 million during the night, we can't have that. Think about it, Noxie, for Sarity, because honestly, it's, it's, I'm saying to everybody here, right?
this can be a huge decision in your life. Just letting you know. And you might wonder like, but why do you keep saying this? It's like, if I was you guys, I would want it to be repeated to me. Because it's really like, I don't want you guys to do nine to five job for the rest of your life. And honestly, I don't want crypto whales to become the ones that benefit the most out of it. You guys are just plebs, you are poor schmucks. Be the first ones to sit in the cash. That's what I gotta say. I would say get 10,000 purpose if you want to get benefits within a year or two, in a year or two. Non-legally binding, of course, but 10,000 purpose is really, you can also go for a uh, 1,000 purpose, but 1,000 purpose, you're going to have to wait until purpose is $1,000 to have a million. If you have 10,000, it has to only be $100. $100 is not that far, it's far away. 10,000 purpose used to be 5K, now it's 30K. No, like I said, 1K, I don't think two years for 1K. It's going to take a bit longer than that, but maybe it might. If it really blows up, then 1K will go very fast. So, yeah. Thirty k. Well, anything. You you just gotta think. If if it's now three dollars and it becomes a hundred bucks, you just gotta think about yourself. Do the math yourself. Huh? I applied. Are you bu bubbles? Okay. Are you bubbles? I think he is. No. There's a guy that keeps applying and spam applying. Where are you from? Okay. Either way. But it's true though, crypto is like, it's a bubble that's going to give a lot of people a lot of exciting times as it writes and then it goes down. But purpose, it's like really for the kids. It's true. I mean, you guys know me. Like I'm literally the most fucking idealistic fucker on the internet. You guys know it. People that have followed me day in, day out, you guys know it. I have fucking... Pure intent. People that came over here, they fucking know it too. They see me. They can't, they interact. They know I'm fucking the real deal. I don't say one thing and then go party after the stream. I work my ass off. If you want to trust someone, fucking look at their actions. Look at what I do. You don't even have to believe what I say. I, I deliver. Fucking deliver. Deliver, deliver, deliver. I want to hear the song now. Always deliver. <laughs> Always. Get yourself that fucking purpose and apply if you guys can. Change the fucking world. There's the fucking DBX. Go to DBX. Get yourself that sweet ass purpose. Buy a fucking cry. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Peace out, guys. <laughs>